Hello, uh, in this video we're going to discuss uh, what you do when you have an exponent that's a fraction. Uh, this is something that uh, can be very uh, uh, confusing if you don't know what you're doing. So let's just talk about what an exponent uh, does first and what the fraction uh, implies. Uh, I'm going to start with the number 8. Uh, now if you have a number 8 squared, uh, what that means is you have 8 times 8 and that makes 64. So 8 squared is 64. Um, if you have 8 to the 2 thirds, uh, anytime you have a fraction in the exponent, you have to kind of pay attention closely. Uh, this top number is the power. And this bottom number is the root. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to take 8 and square it we're also going to take the cube root. And you can also take the cube root of 8 and then square it. It's up to you. I strongly recommend that you take the root first because I always prefer to go from 8 down to a smaller number than from 8 up to a bigger number. Smaller numbers are easier to work with. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rewrite this as a cube root of 8 squared. I got the cube root because of the 3 on the bottom of this fraction. And then I got the square from the 2. This is the power. This is the root. Uh, the cube root of 8 is 2 because a cube root is a question. What number times itself 3 times makes 8? And it's going to be 2 times 2 is 4, and that times 2 is 8. So this is going to be 2 squared, and that is 4. Let's try another one. Um, let's do... Uh, uh, how about uh, 25 uh, to the 3 halves? I'm keeping the numbers kind of small just to get started here. Again, this is the root. This is the power. So the root is going to be a square root of 25, and that's going to be cubed. And uh, the square root of 25 is... Uh, 5, because 5 times 5 makes uh, 25, so this is really going to be 5 cubed, which is 5 times 5 times 5, and that's 25 times 5 makes 125. So 25 to the 3 halves uh, makes uh, 125. Uh, so hopefully that is uh, kind of helps, uh, helps uh, kind of clean things up here. What if you have this? 1 over 36 to the uh, negative 1 half. Now, a, something like a 1 half power is pretty common for a, uh, as an exponent. Um, the bottom is the root. The top is the power. And also, recall from an earlier video that I made, a negative means that you flip whatever's on the bottom up to the top. Or if it happened to be on the top, you'd bring it down to the bottom. So this is really, before we get rolling, it's going to be 36 to the 1 half. And then we just have a, a 1 down there. Um, and uh, now the bottom is the root. The top is the power. So this is really the square root of 36 to the first. Or just the square root of 36, which is 6. And from that, hopefully you can kind of tell that 49 to the 1 half is 7. Because that's a, that means square root of 49, and, and that's 7. And... Uh, Likewise, imagine you have something a little more complicated. Say, suppose you have like 32 to the 1 -fifth power. That means the fifth root of 32, and that is 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 16, 32. So just to recap, if the exponent's a fraction, uh, no big deal. The bottom number is the root. The top number is the power. It doesn't matter which order you do them in, but I strongly recommend you do the root first because that takes you from an 8 down to a 2. That's better. If you had tried to square first, you would have gone from an 8 like to a 64, and uh, that's just going to make things harder. So I hope this helps. Uh, I do have an exponent video if you need some more help with exponents. I hope this helps, and have a good day.